hello guys uh, welcome to my channel uh, so today I am going to show you how you can install docker on your Mac OS so actually there are a uh, lot of ways to do that uh, so first one is like first you gonna open like new window and just like docker Mac OS right okay so there there is very important thing which uh, i want to tell you guys is like you know apple launched uh, their own processor called m1 so currently like i can't find uh, it's uh, find like you know the uh, like they are providing the beta version at the moment uh, but they are not providing it for uh, you know that it's not the uh, release version at the moment so we I, but uh, I have M1 before but now I moved again back to Intel so uh, first one is you're gonna download from docker hub you're gonna download it and install it and uh, but there is another easy way uh, through which you can install docker uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to open this this terminal so let's minimize it <coughs> so uh, so there is a software called called homebrew I already in my previous video previous video I show like how you can install homebrew on your Mac OS so it's very easy uh, if you want to know about uh, homebrew just watch this video uh, and uh, it will uh, let you know how you can there is step by step guide which is gonna tell you to install homebrew on your mac os so first of all i'm going to search brew search uh, docker so it's currently searching at the moment <coughs> So there are two things. One is formulae and the other is casks. So I explained that in that video. What's the difference between those? So just to give you a bit overhead, this is basically a command line, and cask is basically graphical user interface. So if I want to install the graphic uh, graphical user interface one, like uh, so I can uh, do some configurations and everything. So what I will do is I will write home. Uh, sorry, brew install uh, cask uh, docker So it's uh, currently updating the casks and it will start downloading it. Uh, so the beauty about Brew is like you can uh, uh, so the beauty about Homebrew is like you can uh, install uh, uh, any application through these commands and it will automatically uh, handle the permissions and everything for you so I, 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 I find it very you know handy for me uh, because uh, I am developer myself so this is really good for me uh, so it will take bit time to download so once it's done I will get back and we'll move on to next steps So it's done downloading. Now it's installing Docker. It will take actually bit time to install because it's first has to download and then it's gonna extract the package and then install it for us. So it seems like I already installed it, but once it is installed, it will show you like it's installed. So and it starts showing here. So in order to see it's, it's perfectly installed, just write Docker. And press enter uh, it's still not open so what I need to do is I have to run it and open and ask 
certificate, I will enter my password. So it will take a bit time. So now yes, it's set it up. So now, now the Docker engine is started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run Docker and we'll see like if it's installed fine or not. I'm going to enter it and it will show you all the uh, commands and everything related all the help all the options are related to the uh, dockers so in order to run first container i will write run, docker run hello dash world so it's a default container to check it's uh, existed or not so now it's it first it see it's it doesn't exist now it will It, it's downloaded the container and it will uh, automatically say like it's uh, it's already in installed it so hello world so, so in this way you can install docker on your machine so in this way you can install docker on your machine please uh, if you like my video please uh, subscribe my channel and press the uh, bell icon. Thank you.